Hello boys and girls and welcome to another video. Uh, this time I wanted to review my uh, Enduristan uh, soft luggage and uh, I just want to say a few words about uh, features of the luggage, uh, fitment, uh, quality and things like that. Uh, usual things that you would need when buying a soft luggage for your bike. So I'm using this uh, Enduristan for a few months now and I can say I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, soft luggage myself and especially when uh, you're riding a bike like a Honda CB500 XC's uh, soft luggage is very important because you know this type of luggage uh, do not require any kind of uh, rack or any kind of additional mounting systems uh, and uh, at the same time you have a flexibility of uh, of the you know uh, carrying uh, a lot of stuff uh, that can bounce around you know all, so all sorts of terrains of course um, do you want to have a soft luggage yourself that depends really on you because you know uh, with this kind of luggage there's uh, absolutely no security another thing uh, why I uh, opted for Enduristan instead of uh, other uh, manufacturers we all know that are uh, kind of uh, biggest competitors in this uh, adventure space uh, for soft luggage is uh, Moscow Moto uh, SW Motec or giant loop luggage now the main reason why I opted uh, for Enduristan uh, compared to those uh, manufacturers is mainly because you know I have a freedom to ride the pillow and passenger here this is all uh, top quality luggage you know uh, Moscow Moto, SW Motec and Duristan uh, and uh, practically it's a matter of your personal preference you know and personal needs first of all for my uh, use case uh, where I might sometimes need to add additional uh, luggage over here or uh, take a pillow with me you know I opted for this type of uh, this type of cell bags and uh, top box as you can see I have Enduristan Blizzard uh, model L uh, side bags and I have a Tornado 2M uh, top case uh, from Enduristan and I have a rock strap which keep this uh, top, uh, top box securely fastened on the GV top rack the biggest uh, kind of advantage for this uh, Enduristan luggage based on my opinion is as mentioned you know ability to have a free uh, pillion seat for additional stuff that you might need and also huge factor for me uh, in selecting uh, luggage was uh, modularity of the system you know so as you can see I have a uh, uh, b bottle holsters and uh, can holsters I mean these two things uh, are additionally mounted on uh, two of the four available mounting points and uh, when I was purchasing this I also bought a smaller bag that goes here underneath but uh, they haven't had that on stock so I never order it again you know modularity is a big factor for me so I can you know as I need take certain parts out and put new on so that's a huge plus to my needs you know also there's additional mole mounting uh, points over here so you could attach additional luggage all in all this system was built uh, with a good quality fabric is uh, plastified material they claim to be three layer high quality quality material abrasion resistant with the, with the material itself uh, and its flexibility there's nothing wrong okay few words about how this uh, fits onto the bike uh, they claim these endorsement bags fit uh, all uh, dirt bikes uh, adventure bikes uh, practically you know almost all bikes I have to say uh, the biggest issue I had with this luggage was um, finding a good spot to mount on CB 500 SX has a uh, one specific and that's uh, having exhaust mounted fairly high uh, at this position you can see over here that uh, there's not a lot of clearance here for this bag and uh, we are talking about I would say two centimeters uh, over here that's why it uh, was important to mount these uh, bags uh, as high as possible I'm gonna take my seat off uh, so you can see how they are fitted uh, underneath but before that I just want to say one thing even I uh, tightened them as much as I could they were still kind of flappy on this side they were going inside to prevent that I had to put uh, additional straps here so I bought two GV straps that I mounted over here and uh, that goes from from here uh, onto the uh, uh, pillion uh, uh, handlebars here and then you know tighten the, the uh, down below again so uh, this uh, helps from uh, saves uh, bags from swinging inside while driving and while jumping on a different type of different type of terrains you can 
can see over here so this is where those additional bags would go like here and I was planning to have there like a first aid and uh, just uh, those kind of essentials that I, that I don't need regularly but I might need uh, sometimes you know this is where I push this strap through from this standpoint uh, I have to say you know fitment is uh, not the best on this bike uh, it can fit as you can see I'm riding a couple of months with them my intention was to kind of push them a little bit away from the exhaust because this gets uh, very hot during a riding way one way to do that was to add additional straps over there to kind of prevent uh, as I mentioned uh, swinging now I'm gonna take them out for that uh, I had two options in for mounting them uh, I had option to mount this uh, over the seat or underneath the seat so I've chosen underneath the seat so I don't have any straps uh, you know okay so uh, taking uh, the seat off is a little a little difficult bear with me for a second they are very tightened This is the worst part with these bags, they are, they are very nice, capacity wise and everything and uh, just the fitment is not, I'm not the happy, happiest with the fitment, gotta put this away. So as you can see, uh, they are kind of, you know, tightened to the max and uh, I'm still not kind of happy how they, how they fit. Now I have to say a few words about how this looks like in the practice. With these straps uh, it's kind of, you know, difficult to keep them 100% in place and these straps uh, kind of interfere with, uh, with the seat uh, um, uh, locking mechanism underneath the seat. Uh, seat locks uh, on CB400X, uh, seat locks on three positions. Uh, one is over here, actually on a four. Uh, there's a main one over here and two additional here and uh, the uh, front one goes underneath here, underneath this this part. I would prefer, let's say, to have one single strap instead of uh, these two straps. It would be better, on my opinion. I'm sure Enduristan done some kind of quality control and they decided to go with these two straps. This is the worst part, this tightening system and uh, I need to tighten them more and uh, it doesn't go doesn't go anymore so what i'm gonna do with that is uh, i'm gonna take these buckles uh, off completely and i'm gonna just sew this uh, part together yeah i mean when you read on enduristan website everything seems perfect uh, like uh, it seemed to me but that's what i'm uh, experience in practice and uh, this is something i don't I really don't like regarding uh, bags itself uh, you are opening bags with uh, four uh, buckles like this first one goes here second one here third and fourth security here and then you just roll them and open inside the bag bags is a uh, very good plastic material red color so it's easy to contrast so you can easily find what you're looking in, in the bag capacity wise uh, 12 uh, liter uh, side bag each 12 liter so I have 24 liters of storage space uh, over here and 32 liters over here with this uh, the top bag and uh, I have to say this is uh, enough for I would say two people for a one week trip okay so there's really nothing more to add to it these are very good bags uh, I'll just show you quickly where I mounted them these straps are uh, very long and uh, I just make them tidy like this but uh, they goes uh, over here on this uh, strap uh, you can see here and that's a one mounting position uh, this is uh, underneath the seat uh, second one and I just uh, as I mentioned you know added additional straps uh, here to keep them uh, more or less uh, you know away from the tire so they're not swinging back it's, uh, underneath underneath the bike uh, I'm gonna close this pack too uh, now and the uh, closing mechanism is the same like opening them you just roll this tight as you need you just lock these and these side ones too and bag bags are se securely locked uh, this is uh, 
regarding a Nuristan Blizzard uh, L saddlebags, if you're riding uh, mainly road uh, and asphalt roads, then go for kind of uh, maybe SW Motec uh, or Giant Loop, uh, but at the same time you have to be aware that a pillion uh, seat won't be available anymore. I have a confidence if uh, ever fall occurs that they will uh, survive that but at the same time uh, if you have some kind of electronics that might not be saved because it's uh, these are salt bags and there's no no impact protection whatsoever whatsoever here okay so uh, worst part about uh, these bags is uh, these straps uh, and uh, put the taking a seat uh, on and off if you don't uh, have a need to, to often remove the seat from the bike that might not, not be a big issue for you would i recommend them for cb500x yes i would but again you know based on your needs uh, there might be a better options i have forgot to mention earlier the reason the second reason why i went from them is uh, this setup is uh, fairly cheap uh, compared to uh, let's say uh, moscow moto moscow moto uh, would be my first choice uh, if there was not need to kind of have this uh, pillion seat free moscow moto are great bags but again that was a huge limit uh, kind of limiting thing for me and i don't want to be limited i'm usually riding uh, alone i'm not uh, very rarely i'm riding with the pillion but again uh, i might sometimes need to take someone you know somewhere and i might need to have additional bag uh, or jacket or strapped uh, where the, the top uh, bag is great bags uh, they have do they do have certain limitations for especially for cb 500 x i would uh, i would recommend them all right boys and girls let me wrap it up quickly here thanks for joining if you want to see more gear reviews like this one hit me a thumbs up uh, and uh, let me know in comments uh, maybe i missed something maybe you wanna know something that i haven't mentioned just uh, shoot me a comment below and uh, i'll reply before i drop off just to mention one more thing these rock straps are really awesome they can expand they are kind of elastic and they have enough length, length to go around the bag when bag is full all right so guys uh, this is uh, Enduristan uh, Blizzard L uh, two bottle holsters and uh, Tornado uh, 2M uh, top bag with the uh, rock straps many thanks for uh, watching many thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll talk to you in the next one take care